Well, in a recent article, actor Robert Davi wrote that if Hollywood hates enforcing immigration laws so much, they ought to stop controlling access to their parties. And if they won't, they're racist. Davi played Bond villain Fran Sanchez, was also Special Agent Johnson in Die Hard. He died horribly in both those roles, but the man himself is still alive, and he joins us now. Robert, it's great to see you. Great to see you. Peace. I just Thank loved it. And I must read the nut of it here. Mm -hmm. I propose Meryl Streep, Chelsea Handler, Richard Gere, Robert De Niro, and others lead an Oscar first. Do away with the rules, barriers, and tickets to the parties. I ask all migrants, all legal and illegal criminals and unvetted refugees to converge on Hollywood to come to the Oscars and the after parties. I think and not just to serve the wine and the appetizers, no, no. but to attend. To attend. I want them. There's 3,500 seats at the Oscars. And there's other parties all around town. The Vanity Fair party. Let them come as guests. Give 3,000 tickets to the illegal immigrants, the criminals, the refugees. Let them enjoy the Wolfgang Puck dinners and the, and the governor's ball and the entertainment. I think it's about time that Hollywood, which they do great things, and I respect all those talents, yes. by the way. I disagree vehemently the message they're giving America. So I want to have all of the migrants, I ask all of you, if you're listening to me, converge on Hollywood Boulevard on the night of the Oscars and be guests of all the people that believe we should have a country of no law and no order. And no barriers. And no either. barriers. I mean, there might be, ba uh, that's no what my concern is, outside the Vanity Fair party, there might be barriers keeping people out. Well, that's the other caveat. I don't want any barriers. And I say that the men in blue, the police officers, Hollywood shouldn't hire them to protect them anymore. Of course not. They shouldn't have those protections. I mean, the hypocrisy of it all, you know. And then, after the party, bring tents and camp out in Bel Air. There's nine acre homes. There's a lot of acres. I think they should camp out there and see what see what happens. I mean, we're all for, and this is with love in my heart. <laughs> this is with love in my heart. Well, that's, a, right, that's how you sign the piece with, <laughs> with great love. Do you think this will happen? Do I think? No, I don't think it'll happen. But I, how could it not? Nice. How could you get up at the Oscars and say these are marginalized people and the president or whomever is a racist for wanting to keep them out and then keep them out of your Oscar party? I mean, can you imagine the thrill of being? A Syrian refugee, for example, and going to the Vanity Fair party. Uh, an unvetted Syrian yes. refugee. I think we should even, uh, you know, just even invite some of them right there from wherever they might be in Budapest right now and bring them over and say, come on, Habibi, come to the Oscars. I mean, the, it's, it's sad that they don't, uh, especially since they're so, uh, you, you know, again, that's the hypocrisy of the whole thing. Why, do you, the think, real why do you think they don't? I mean, I, I, I've been, you know, to a lot of parties in L.A., and there are a lot of people who may or may not have legal status who are serving you. Oh, absolutely. But very few, maybe none, actually. Our guests. But right. they, they treat them well. They tip them a few dollars here and there, and, you know, and they thank them. No, look, there's a lot of people, let me, let me, with the caveat of this, a lot of people in Hollywood have big hearts. A lot of talents have big hearts. But I think a lot of them do, They do, sure. absolutely. And they do great things. But for some reason, they've lost sight of the American worker. They've lost sight of America, the blue collar of America. And what America stood for. For some reason, why is vetting, and he's not saying ban all Muslims or ban all refugees or anything. This is, this is on the books. He's not changing any laws. And even the seven states that Obama, uh, uh, countries that Obama had put down, there was no buzz to that. Talk about the media for a second, you know. This media thing, I think, I th and we hear all the brouhaha of the media. I have an idea for the, for the uh, administration and all of uh, everyone. Who's the parent company of CNN? I, I can't get into that, but there is a parent company, yes. There is a parent. May I yeah. say it? Yeah, of course. Time Warner. Yeah. So what if at the things, when they have things, they go, Time Warner, yep. parent company of CNN, uh, Jim Acosta, yep. go. Go, Jim. How about if they did that? They did Universal, Comcast, NBC, <laughs> MSNBC, Joe Scarborough, go, Joe. Now, all of a sudden, yep. because if the president is held accountable... And he's the main guy. Shouldn't those companies be held accountable? Secret and maybe, and maybe, they'll think twice about how they how they're distorting news. Great question, Robert Davi. <laughs> you haven't made many friends today in your hometown, but thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.